welcome to this review of this Re K66 mechanical gaming keyboard. I've not plugged it in, we're gonna do that together. So here we go. This, uh, the cable on it, just in case you're wondering, is braided. It's quite a nice bit of braid actually, for, uh, for its quality of keyboard. It's quite, uh, it's quite rigid as well, which is nice, but you know. Anyway, let's plug it in and see what it does together, because I've not read any manuals or anything of the sort. So I'm going to plug it into USB 3. Anyone ask it, it should be fine. Right, so my keyboard is just setting up. Oh, look at that. Very pretty. So we're going to learn together how to use this keyboard. Hopefully, I will try and shorten it down. Obviously, in between, while well, I'm learning to use the keyboard. Actually, let's flip the backs up. Um, I, will, I will edit the video so you don't have to be punished. Let's just bring it up to the camera. Hopefully, you can see that. There you go. We're, certain, we're on red. It's quite a nice red, isn't it? Very, uh, very nice, very nice. So that's what it's standard, uh, it's, it's started itself up on. So what we're gonna do is put that there. Let's put the mouse over here. So I'm on the web page, which is where I purchased it from. So it's from Amazon <coughs> and it's, um, it's currently 30, 39.99 in the UK. Uh, I purchased this yesterday, so I had it next day. So if you've got Amazon Prime, obviously you should know about Amazon Prime, but yeah, it's next day delivery on Amazon Prime. And of course it's free. Well, Amazon Prime is not. So everybody's probably guessing the fact that it is, it is a full um, mechanical keyboard. It's not fake. Um, and it is, yes, 39.99 in the UK. Um, hey Google. How much is 39.99 in US dollars? 39 British pounds and 99 pence is approximately 52 United States dollars and 82 cents. Okay, so that's uh, the US. So, hey Google, how much is 39.99 in euros? 39 British pounds and 99 pence is approximately 45 euros and 12 cents. So that's for anybody that's outside the UK and how much it was. So here's me putting it in the uh, description, but you know. The features of this keyboard are anti-ghosting. So it's got anti-ghosting, which is 104 keys. Uh, what else we got? Mechanical switches, 50 million times. So I'm assuming that's the durability of the mechanical switch. We've just reviewed the keyboard previous to this one and that had 5 million and that was just basic. So there's definitely a difference between mechanical and non-mechanical. Um, it's got double injection keycaps. So I'm assuming that's one cap over the top of another one and then obviously that cap then attaches to the board. Um, it's got five backlit status, three customable macro LEDs, multifunction shortcut keys and then a cust uh, customizable programmable button setting. Same profile settings required. You can download some software. So what we'll do, we'll do that now. GoPro stop recording. Right, so we're on the website, we're on the RE website. Um, so when you come along, it's uh, retech.com slash support slash download dot html. So they've got all their products in here, and I've reviewed a couple in here already. Um, it's here, so it's the K66, you've got a firmware download and also a software download. Right, so we've downloaded the re-gaming software, which is version 1.0.9, and it's an EXE after the RAW. So we got lighting, so you can do breathing. I'm hoping you guys can see that. So we've selected breathing. So if I hold this up, this is gonna be better, isn't it? Yeah. So we got breathing. Trackless. Do what? No, no, that's fine. Oh, wow, that's lovely, look at that. So trackless would be, so you do that, look. So you basically just light up the keys you want. Well, I mean, that looks cool, but I suppose in the dark, you wouldn't necessarily see that, but yeah, in the day. Oh, hang on. So yeah, in the day was probably a bit better for you. Um, so we got pointing. So, oh wow, that's even better, look. Pointing. So we've got that. Oh, that looks well, cool. 
That's fantastic, that is. That's really cool. So, yeah, so obviously where you point from, it will go from all the key. I'll just turn that one light off just so you can get a better, a better view of this. And then closed. So I suppose closed is nothing. So continued. So we've got speed. I bring this over here. You get the drift of it then. Sorry, I'm just moving my camera around. So we've got slow. So we've got breathing, which is slow again. Uh, trackless. So that's slow, normal, fast, pointing. So go to slow. And then normal. I don't think that made any difference. So series, that just sort of flicks through, which I suppose is like a wave. That's the, I suppose that's the wave, isn't it? Don't really get the drift when it's on. Oh no, it's on slow. Okay, so we put it on fast, and then we're, we've got low light, so that's the lowest light, normal light, and the highlight. So, and then, right, so on one of the functions, I suppose it's the macro key, you press function and pause, and then type your button, you can light up individual keys. So obviously if you're playing games, like Fortnite, so you've got W, Z, is it, and, So if you're playing a game, which I'll show you game footage of what it's like, uh, but if you if you just want to do Fortnite or something, or pretty much any PC game, you just light up those keys. You can, see, so you can sort of see what you're doing then. Let's fucking scroll. What you get anyway is pretty cool, I think. I mean, you still get all the functionalities of something. You know, you get the wave and everything. People like the wave and... I mean, that's cool, that one there. And that all lights up. And then I think that's a nice one as well. So that's quite cool. And of course, they're all the LED is behind the key. So and also, just so you know that these keys are their red silent mechanical switches. Keyboard is also um, you can use this keyboard on Windows PC via USB port. You can put it on Mac OS, Linux, Android, and I'm guessing obviously it will work on your PlayStation or your Xbox as well. But I don't know if the ghosting features and all that would work, but uh, we're going to try it on a PC next. So we're going to see what it's like for gaming. So. So there we go. So that's what it feels like when you're playing on it. So what's it like to play like that? With a keyboard, you have to press it down more further. With this one, you have to literally tap it down a little bit. So it's not like instant when you, yeah. So it's obviously because it's mechanical, it's going to work 20 times better than a standard faster. keyboard. That's way much more faster. Yeah, the response time is going to be pretty quick. So if you want to put the re software up, right. so click on that, settings, and then put it on trackless, on trackless, so that's, yeah, okay, so go back to your game. So we're trying on trackless. Right, so you can get a feel for what track this is like. Let's come around here. So that's trackless for you, yeah? that's how it works. Hopefully you've enjoyed this review and get a feel for what you're buying. And uh, don't forget, it's thirty nine ninety nine on Amazon, and that is with uh, next day delivery. So yeah, that's quite cool. Enjoying it? Yeah, better than your last keyboard. Yeah. Definitely. So if you're looking for a present, ask your mum and dad. You never know, they might buy you one. And there you go. Thank you very much for the review. Sure. If you're watching and if you want to subscribe, that'd be cool. If you want to check out my other reviews on my other keyboards, I've just done one before this if you just want a basic keyboard. Thank you for viewing, and I hope you've enjoyed the review. Thumbs up if you didn't, thumbs down if you didn't. And um, what's the other word we're looking for? Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, and uh, enjoy. Goodbye.